normally on this channel, we talk a ton about the actual gear in terms of the cameras, lenses, that kind of stuff, and the experience, particularly of using those different tools. But one of the things that I feel like is incredibly underrated would be the different ways that you can actually go about carrying those cameras and that gear. In, especially in a way that is more conducive to someone like myself as a wedding photographer who's going to be carrying that stuff for anywhere from six hours on the very, very minimum to 12 hours plus, doing that in the way that is both uh, comfortable, ergonomic, convenient. So today we're gonna talk about all of the different options and gear that I have used, let you know where those different uh, things fit and give you some recommendations in those areas. And this is not a sponsored video by any means. And if you did wanna support the channel in any way, if you were going to purchase some of this stuff, you can do it through the links in the description. Those small commissions on affiliate sales are definitely a way that this channel can make some money. All right, so you may have seen these in a lot of cameras, but these weird little dongly type things on a lot of cameras are the Peak Design little setup here. It's their version of a quick release kind of camera strap. I mostly avoided them until my friend Todd with Clever Supply Co., which many of you have seen me talk about in the past, came up with a leather option that gave me the ability to use a system like this that makes a ton of sense, is incredibly ergonomic, but also it can look amazing in the process. So their straps like this one I have here, I've had this, this is probably the first one he ever sent to me, so it's pretty old and beat up at this point, but I mean, that's kind of the beauty of leather, right? So the straps just kind of pop on there, and then you're able to just use these as a regular camera strap, but then you start to get a aesthetic that's a little bit less like techy. For an everyday carry kind of thing, this is what I use a lot of time, or especially if it's later on in the evening and maybe I'm only carrying one camera, uh, I'll often pop this on and use this whole setup for either like getting ready stuff or if I'm just walking around scouting or um, especially into the evening with dancing, if I'm only having one camera with like a wide angle and a flash, uh, I'll often use this kind of a setup. Not only that, with these on the side here, one of the things that I have used in the past from both Clever Supply Co. and from Holdfast now is the ability to use this whole Peak Design concept with a dual harness strap. And I've definitely been using a dual harness uh, both from Clever Supply and from Holdfast for the last like 10 years now. Uh, it's one of those things that I feel like if I could pick one thing outside of the actual cameras and lenses and stuff that is essential to my wedding day kit, it is 100% a dual camera harness. It just makes the ability to carry two cameras at the same time so much easier. And if you are a solo photographer like I often am, having two cameras on you at all times is sort of a necessity. So the ability to do that is absolutely fantastic. So I'll grab a couple of my uh, dual camera straps. We can check those out. Okay, so obviously <laughs> this is a lot of camera straps and I've used all of these different versions. So you can kind of see where you would want to land in any of these systems. So just because I pulled this one up first, this one from Clever Supply Co. Now you'll see that theirs is a little bit different in how it connects on the back. So when you're wearing it, uh, it goes in this X pattern, but instead of just being in one connection, they have a central little like hub of sorts. That's how it kind of connects. But then their basis is all based off of the Peak Design hardware. So natively, you just get the Peak Design stuff when you get a strap from Clever Supply Co., um, at least in their dual harness kind of setup here. That is the Clever Supply Co. strap. Uh, it's a little bit thinner. It definitely works with the larger Sony cameras and stuff. I probably wouldn't use it with anything too much heavier though, and it definitely works a lot better with my Leica M cameras, with the smaller Fujifilm cameras and stuff like that, just because the uh, strap you know, width here is just a little bit thinner, um, and so you can it distributes the weight a little bit less evenly than some of these thicker ones uh, from the Holdfast company. 
All right, so in that same way, uh, I have been using this strap is probably my favorite one from Holdfast. Been using this for years and years, and they recently came out with the ability to put on the little peak design stuff as well. All right, and then if you're not in the peak design kind of like ecosystem or don't like those for whatever reason, the system that I had used with Holdfast for forever and ever and ever is basically just a really, really, I don't know, basic little device here. It just has a little ring. You screw it onto the bottom of your camera. And the nice thing about this is that you don't have to have a Allen key, hex key kind of thing or any sort of tool to put this on because you just turn it and it works. The attachments here on the uh, straps themselves just go on here. I will say the only thing about this is there's just a lot more metal. So uh, it's a good thing in that it is incredibly robust. You're not going to be worried about it ever breaking, but you definitely have a lot more kind of like clickety clackety kind of noises going on. I know Holdfast makes a one that doesn't make any noise, but even with that, this whole system, um, just because it's all made of metal, it makes sense. Like it's going to make some noise anyway. One of the reasons I do like the peak design thing here a little bit more as well is just because you don't have as much metal and you're not worried about kind of like bashing things around with metallic stuff in general. But anyway, so there's that for sure. All that to say as well, they also have a kind of like vegan leather. It's definitely not leather. It's like rubbery, um, but this does feel really great. So if you're someone that doesn't like leather, but wants something that feels and looks a little bit more premium. And then if you want one that's even more kind of like flexible, comfortable, this is the what uh, Holdfast calls the camera swag line. This is much more. It's also like more lightweight, more flexible. And then the nice thing about this is you can take off all this kind of stuff and you can kind of decide now whether you want this full metallic thing or if you want to buy one that comes with um, the Peak Design stuff. So personally, I've kind of moved my stuff over to the Peak Design stuff just because it makes it easier to just be within a full system, but it's definitely not something that you have to do. You can choose one or the other. So we've definitely talked about these in the past and it's not anything new to the industry necessarily, but one of the things that I have been really, really loving is the ways that I can pack on top of just a couple of cameras. So I'm gonna jump in and show you a couple of those options that I've been using lately as well. One of the things that I have added within the last couple of years is an additional bag on the back, giving me access to memory cards and extra batteries and a bunch of other little tools. I've talked about this in the past with separate videos, but I wanted to kind of compare the different options into one particular video that you can kind of check out and see what things would work best for you. The first thing here is this new little bag. I've been using this one in particular just this summer. And part of the reason why uh, I have got this one is it's because it's all leather, making it a little bit heavier for sure, but a little bit more waterproof in those times where I'm out and you do like, let's say, set this bag down. It's got a big compartment right here where I can stick lenses. I usually stick one lens in each of these pouches. I then also have a front pouch here, and in this back little pocket, I keep a secondary multi-tool. Uh, I talked about this in one of my other videos about the amount of times that I use this multi-tool both as like a screwdriver, it has a small pair of scissors, a bottle opener, it's really, really useful. I also keep some double-sided tape in here just for like wardrobe malfunctions for people, and then I also keep this multi-tool here that is more like camera specific. It also has this larger section here where I can keep things like a timeline or a family photo list. And then in front of these little pouches in the front is where I'll toss things like the memory card holders, batteries, things like that. Uh, and then these front little pockets, I have like an inhaler right here. Sometimes I'll put that in that other pocket, but sometimes we go batteries, things like that. It's just a very, very useful bag for me. And this is kind of how it looks when I actually use it. Now, in keeping with my uh, obviously general color palette and aesthetic, 
I have this canvas one, and then I also have this black one. This one is a little bit easier of a carry in terms of weight, and also it just kind of forms to your body a little bit more because the material is just more like a canvasy kind of thing. The black one is where if I'm going to be, again, doing some sort of event that is a little bit more formal, I will definitely be using the black one. This is definitely my bag for when it's more informal, but I do just like really, really love this black one because because it's leather, it just looks fantastic. Uh, and again, the all black kind of aesthetic helps to be a little bit more minimal there, uh, especially when doing weddings. Now, I'm definitely a fan of those much smaller bags, but if you are someone that, like me at times, uh, likes to overpack or overcarry, this is the much larger version, which is more like a traditional camera bag. It has space for like four lenses. You could put both camera bodies in there. Uh, if you wanted to travel, you know, this whole thing could work. And the thing about this is it does the exact same thing as those other bags. It fits on the back. I've done a full video about this in the past when it first came out and I was first able to get my hands on one because they were back ordered for forever. So this is definitely another one of those bags that is super useful, super helpful, but generally just kind of works like a regular camera bag would work, but it also has the same connection points as the other bags, so you can wear it on the back with those same connectors um, like I have been doing with those other smaller bags. And now the last little thing that I've more recently picked up that is similar, but also a little bit more distinct than those are these little sightseer bags. So let's say you just wanna bring like a couple extra things with you or one extra lens or something. You don't have to bring a full bag full of other stuff. They make these little bags where you can stick a small camera, lenses, whatever. They make them in multiple different sizes. So let's say you wanna bring like a 70 to 200 or like this giant Samyang 35 to 150 with you. They also make this in leather like this as well as those canvas things. So the leather is going to be a little bit heavier, but again, it's one of those things where I think it looks amazing. And so I'm okay with carrying around slightly more weight at times uh, for just like the absolute beautiful look of this. So one of the things I've done recently, like during a ceremony or something, especially if I'm gonna use a larger lens, like uh, this Samyang lens or my 135, those lenses don't fit as well in those side bags, the quiver bags as they do in these. So I've recently, during ceremonies, taken either this bag or the larger one, and I've used these. These will definitely fit like a 70 to 200, uh, much larger lenses that can definitely help you out if you want to carry like one more lens without carrying a full bag. Hopefully this was helpful, uh, especially seeing all of these different ways of carrying bags, the different straps, all of the different material options. I know it's a lot of different stuff, but uh, as someone who thankfully has access to a lot of this stuff and is still a full-time working professional, uh, I feel like this is the kind of video that would have been super helpful for me and hopefully is gonna be super helpful for anyone out there that is looking to carry more than one camera at a time, uh, whether that is any sort of other event thing, portrait photographers, even commercial photographers, anything like that. So uh, check out the links in the description down below for any of this stuff. Check out the video I did up here specifically on this bag, another video I specifically did on this bag, and I will see you in one of those videos.